everyone, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and today it is uh, Saturday here at Norman's Rare Guitars. And, and Norm is playing his melodica. Yeah, outside. Norm is playing his melodica, so if you hear wah wah, <laughs> it's Norman. Uh, but hey, anytime he's playing an instrument, we love it. We celebrate. Yeah, because he's always happy when he's playing music um, or listening to music, so it's pretty cool. But he's definitely there. Going he goes. Off. He's going off. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, we have an amazing guitar today, um, and I think that it's a new guitar, but I think they're only gonna go up in value um, because Mr. Tom Murphy won't be painting them anymore, and this is kind of a an end of an era a little bit, but still, this is the top. Um, and I, I don't know, I just have a feeling this is gonna be a collectible guitar. Already is, in my opinion, but I think it'll only go up. This is a brand new Murphy Lab, Murphy painted, hand painted, um, Gibson Les Paul, and it's a 1960 reissue. A beauty. It is absolutely beautiful. Probably my favorite one we have right now. So pretty. And one of my favorite ones I've ever played from the Murphy camp. Um, it is just awesome. First of all, the burst looks right. Um, even Joe was here the other day, or last weekend, I think, Joe Bonamassa, and he brought in a 58. Um, it's kind of that similar vibe. And his was real, and, and this has just got that thing where you can stare at it forever and you kind of find something new every time um also not a bad weight i don't know exactly what it weighs but it's it's not too heavy and for those people who um like kind of a more modern playing uh les paul i think maybe this the 1960 neck profile might be your style um it's the slimmest of them all um, kind of like a modern C would be on a fender or something. It's just kind of standard and not too big because once you get to the 58 and the 59, they are a little chunkier. Not saying they're not comfortable. Maybe that's more up your alley, but I think for stock, just your first time going at it, the 60 is one of the more comfortable ones. Um, but yeah, let's look at the aging and checking that he did all the way around. Ridiculous. Absolutely awesome. Uh, you got the O at the top, which gives you that it is an R. Oh, 60 um, but just a beautiful detailed guitar it sounds unbelievable um, it also comes with the age certificate um, one of the reasons I'm showing you this those here's a picture of the man himself painting the guitars um, really cool shot too yeah um, but uh, yeah so I don't know this one's been in the back I haven't showed anybody it yet, but I think it's time. And uh, I don't know, it's just one of the coolest ones I've ever played. So let's take it out front, see what we can do, and let's have fun with it. Woo! Or I'll just put it in my car. Exactly. <laughs> We're out front with the 1960 Murphy painted Murphy Lab. 1960 Les Paul, really, really cool. Uh, one of the best feeling, and it's got that 60 profile neck. We're gonna start off on the neck pickup. Let's see what we get. Your both pickups together.
styles I've ever played. It's a 1960 Murphy Lab, Murphy painted. Gibson 1960 reissue Les Paul. Check them all out at NormanTrackGuitars.com and also on Instagram and Facebook. I'm your host, Michael Lemo. See you soon. Toodles.